All right, what's up guys? Part three of uh, basic motion graphics and After Effects. Um, in this one, I want to explore just playing with different preset effects um, to spice up my animation a little bit. Uh, first one was basic keyframing. Second one was uh, syncing up to audio, which I've done. Uh, let me set up my volume so it's not too loud um, and show you what I've got since then. So if I hit play, I've got my animations synced up to this song here. If we open up each set, you see that my keyframes move with the waveforms. So what I started to do here is once that song kicks in, after the first four uh, beats, the song gets a little bit more energetic. Um, so I brought in some more shapes. Um, again, my hotkey I'm using right here to open up my keyframes is just U on the keyboard. I click on my layer, I click U. Um, so here now, when the music kicks, like when the music picks up, I want more happening. I started with what I knew. I brought in a uh, square and I rotated it and had it rotating and scaling at the same time, and that's what it looks like here. For this next one, let's do something more complicated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in another shape layer. Um, so let's go ahead and grab my rectangle tool. Let's hold shift so it stays to be a perfect square. Click and drag. Oop, and I. Uh, Command Z that because what I need to do, what I forgot to do, is if I still have a layer selected when I am making a new shape, it gets created inside my existing shape layer. I don't want that. I want my shape to be uh, in its own layer. So I'm going to deselect my layers and then make a shape. Nice. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and draw a new square. Um, let's just give it a different color than what's currently on. Going well with magenta. Uh, let's just say a blue. That looks nice. Cool. Um, I've got my square. It's on top. Uh, I'm going to trim it so that it comes in here. Um, let's grab our effects. So uh, over here on the right side of After Effects, we have a whole set of menus. Um, if you do not see this again, where it says default, click on this like three bars right here and go to Reset to Saved Layout. Um, the Effects and Presets tab is what I want to open up and look at here. I'm going to give myself some more room. Um, in here we have tons and tons and tons of stock effects that After Effects comes with that I can just drag and drop onto my own clips. Um, the ones that I want to look in under animation presets are these uh, transitions. So transitions like wipes, dissolves and stuff. Um, these are all preset stuff that I can just drag and drop and then play with. So under here we have got a handful that I know and a lot of these that I just don't know and might play with someday or might see a tutorial uh, someday that shows me how to use them. Uh, the one that I'll just start with is this Venetian Blinds effect. A Venetian Blinds is a classic like movie transition from one clip to another. If I drag and drop that onto my blue square, then my blue square disappears for some reason. Um, and I now have, in my uh, inside my layer, I have effects. And what I see now is it came in with some keyframes under this Venetian Blinds effect. And it's keyframing the transition. It goes from 100% to zero, I think. And look what happens. So if I play that, we see the effect came in with his own set of keyframes from going 100% here to 0% here. Um, so that transition is that uh, blind effect. There's some other things I can, I can play with here, such as the direction. If I scroll over to where I like halfway through the effect, let's click and drag the direction. Let's, let's, let's keyframe the direction. Let's say that here the direction starts at negative 42 now and then by the time it's completely open I'm gonna have the direction completely change a little bit and let's see what that looks like that's kinda of cool I could extend these out just to have it last a longer time before my next uh, clip So all of these effects, I can just drag and drop and play with and see like what they do, how they work. I didn't even play with the width. Like let's play with the width uh, or the feather. I, I click and drag the width from 24 and it changes how big. Oh, let's keyframe that. So I'm going to start a keyframe for the width. Starts at 24, let's keep it at 24. Then let's say like at here the width increases to 50, 1. And then by the end the width maybe goes back to where it started. It, 24. And let's see what that looks like. So the moral of the story here is that you can just drag and drop any of these on, play with it. If you don't like it, if it doesn't work the way you thought it would, you can either turn it off by clicking this little effects thing here, or click on the effect and press the delete key on your keyboard. And 
drag a new one in. Uh, the easiest way to learn any software, any tool, is just to play with it. Um, to maybe watch other tutorials other than mine and see how other people are playing with the effects. Um, but I can tell you that all these right here in this menu that I went to, animation presets uh, and then transitions and wipes, um, a lot of these are just really simple effects to throw on top of uh, shapes for what we're doing in this project. Um, that's all I have shown in this video, so thank you for watching. If you're looking to export or uh, to start rendering to export, I have another video on rendering and After Effects. Check that out. I uploaded it a few months ago. Thanks for watching.